Hi Libra, welcome to my channel Libra. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're finding safe and doing good Libra. This reading for today, it is a collective tarot reading session for the Libra sign. Thank you so much Libra for supporting the channel, okay? Thank you so much guys for being here. Thank you so much guys for your support. If you would like to further connect with me, Libra, please do click the bell. Click subscribe. Let us see what is the urgent message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the Libra sign. We will pick up love, career, money, and general inspiration. Ship. What's the guided message for the Libra sign? You have a six of pentacles in here. The Page of Swords, you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, let me just quickly made. Okay, just need to make my video public. Oh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn in here. <clears throat> What's coming towards you is a Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands come is coming from a Knight of Coins. Your connected energy is the Eight of Cups, the Hidden Energy, the Predictive Outcome and Advice. This is a Hierophant card, okay? And the King of Wands. Wow, this is really, really interesting. Okay, all right, let me just. All right, Libra, let's start your reading. So you're starting the reading with the six of coins the six of coins this is the card of balance um with the six of coins i could feel libra that you have discovered a flaw there's a devil card in here six of coins the devil card so you have discovered an issue a challenge a problem and i believe this issue or challenge or problem um it's been in the background with the devil card it you know, it makes me feel that, you know, this could be connected to, this could be connected to a problem connected to financial or you don't feel so much secure emotionally or financially with someone, with somebody, or it could be a general vibe where it keeps giving you a red flag. Like, okay, this person does not make me feel emotionally secure or there's something in your day-to-day -day expenses day-to-day -day. like there's a day-to-day -day action or day-to-day -day expenses maybe it's connected to emotional security and financial security so for some of you it's financial for some of you it's emotional um it's a feeling of oh this person i wanted it i wanted the attention i wanted the support but I'm not giving it, and yet I want it. I seek for it. I yearn for it. And you keep on going, and it never, you know, it never came back to you. So you, you feel emotionally not secure, or it's making you feel insecure because it doesn't respond to you. And it's been in the background, but you probably don't identify that as a red flag, as a devil card. But soon, you know page of swords okay enough you know i always want you i seek for you but you don't respond to me you don't reply to me you produce emotional insecurity i should just say goodbye to you so it could be a snap where the flaw the issue the error is every day i want you every day i yearn for you and you don't respond to me that's a red flag and because of that, you're producing emotion, emotional insecurity. I should just remove this seeking energy towards you. Like this is a flaw you discovered that if I seek for people or connection that does not respond, reply to me, it's making me feel insecure. I need to remove it. Okay. So this is something like, ooh, I don't like this feeling of emotional insecurity. And what is the root cause, the devil card? It's because I give you power over me. I seek for you. I don't get a response. I don't get a reply. And therefore, I'm insecure. But it's, it's something that it's good. It's good you know. It makes you feel 
unwanted, it makes you feel insecure, they don't want it at all. You know, with the devil card in the page of swords. So it is a discovery. But it's, it's a sweet deal. It's a sweet, sweet discovery. It saves your day. For some of you, it is financial. It's like, where the H is my expenses? Like, how come I do not save money? How come I'm not productive? Where in the H all of my energy or finances or resources going on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, if you look at it technically, the devil card, well, it's going to my coffee twice. It's going to my coffee. It's going to this... Um, it's got your money something to do with the devil card it's like obviously you're gonna your finances is gonna be depleted or your your finances or some sort of productivity connected to day to day it's gonna be disorganized because you're a little bit over the place or you're putting your energy your money into some some stuff or some expensive that it's not necessary with the devil card in here so you will discover that you will discover it. You will discover, Libra, that, okay, now I know the flaw. Because you know the problem, you can stop it, okay? I feel like it's a person that makes you feel insecure. You will remove your seeking energy. For some of you, you would go to your finances. You would go to your day-to-day. -day, you would go to some paperwork. You would go to something like, okay, now I know, sunshine, why I am not productive. It's because of watching you too much just joking <laughs> it's because of this i keep buying this that's why my finances it doesn't get stronger because i keep buying this and this and that and, and it's accumulating so for some of you the next three seven ten days listen to where you feel like there's a flaw because you will discover the solution emotional and financial insecurity in here you would like sweet i know it now like you would literally, technically, emotionally, intuitively, I know it now. It's a feeling of, I know it, sweet. I know how to fix it. Yeah. Four of Cups. You will, for some of you, that financial thing, you will be shocked. If, like you will be surprised, it accumulates and, oh, this is where all my energy or money is going. I should stop it because it is creating, um, it's creating some crazy um, imbalance in my day-to-day -day productivity or it's messing up from, it's messing up in my mind and it's creating unwanted feelings so this is something that you would discover you would you know this person you know how to fix it okay you know when you discover a problem it's preventative so you know what to do okay now you have a knight of wands you have a knight of wands you have a knight of coins this is what's coming towards you the knight of wands is connected to a page of coins so the knight of wands will message you it's you know the message of this knight of wands it feels boring you know i get the feeling of hmm but don't judge the book by its cover i get the feeling that this person will message you and you don't feel jumpy okay um you're being advised like hey Libra, there, someone is going to message you. Someone is going to message you. It's a page of pentacles. It's not the most exciting. It's like it's like a vibe where the email or the communication, it's not well written properly. It's like there's so much excitement, but it's not represented in one message. Okay, because the reality is the, the message, if you dig into it, if you explore it, if you let it engage with you, it's a night of wands. It could be an exciting news, an exciting project, or an exciting person. But the way they write it, the way it's written, it's not exciting. So I'm telling you right now, before you dismiss, before you declare it's boring, it's not important, um, look into it. It could also be like an invitation don't say no to a dreamer i feel like you know i don't know why i said that but it's a very ambitious person it's a very driven person it's an exciting person probably the initial message is boring but it's a dreamer okay now the knight of wands they're excited to connect with you they're excited to see you they're excited to be with you whether it's a new person or um 
a previous person because it's mixed for some of you it could be like a new employee employer or it could be something new there's a bit of newness with this person but it feels old as well maybe it's kind of a feeling of a new topic it could be the same usual but it's coming from a different person because <clears throat> i get the feeling of because the knight of pentacles in here and the hierophant card it feels like it's oh you know it's i get the feeling that it's coming from the same person like someone is posting it and because you know this person you're not interested you know it's a vibe where I'll, I'll give you an example for example for example you don't like me okay for example for example oh sunshine posted something but because you don't like sunshine you wouldn't watch it or there's something that i would you know me there's something that i would post but because you don't like me, you're not going to look into it. You're going to, you're not going to watch it. But if you look at the post, it's a new topic. It's something like that. Okay. It's coming from, it's coming from maybe the same person, the same company. There's something similar previously. But if you look at it carefully, if you look into it and dive into it, it's actually very exciting. There's some, because the Hierophant card speaks about traditional the Hierophant card speaks about something that is already very, very, very established. And there's a feeling of, oh, it's sunshine again. Okay, why do I put myself as an example? But, you know, it's a feeling of because you've gotten used to me. You're kind of looking for something new. And because, okay, I've known sunshine. You know, it could be someone in the community. It could be someone connected to work where you... You got ah oh, yeah never mind it's sunshine I know that it's pretty it's, it's the same, but don't judge the book by its cover because it's completely different. Because from the Knight of Wands, it's gonna grow to a King of Wands. Look at that, see. And the reason why I'm saying that because your connecting energy is an Eight of Cups, so you're not very interested because you've got this judgment of oh it's coming from sunshine, it's coming from this person. So never mind but your soul your intuition will tell you mm, look at it again because although it's coming from the same resources or coming from the same page if you read it if you look at it if you dive into it if you let yourself engage to it it is exciting from knight of wands it's gonna grow to a king of wands so it is an exciting new vibe coming from an old institution it's like oh sunshine it's you again i don't want to watch you and then your intuition oh just try sunshine will never disappoint you because sunshine is gonna deliver a different format or a message of a king of excitement this is king of excitement so those situation invitation that it feels like take a look at it like if you if you listen to your higher self or the voice of your intuition it will tell you i know it's coming from that old sunshine but just watch it there's a message okay so you will have a moment in the next three seven ten days where i don't like it i'm not interested but there's a second voice just try because it's gonna grow to a king of wands it could be a person it could be an adventure it could be an idea but this is growth this is expansion this is exciting this is not boring okay so you won't miss this because the voice of your intuition will tell you oopsie look at it again there's something exciting in there or it could be like the same invitation or this friend of yours and like this friend of yours inviting you in their workplace event or this friend of yours inviting you to their house you know maybe housewarming maybe there's a house party and like i know the i know that friend of mine and i know their uh like oh i know that friend of mine and i know that the people that would be going there it's boring but then your voice of intuition will tell you no no there's a king of wands go it's also a feeling of like okay come on libra attend this um attend the attend please attend this birthday party and the birthday party is for seven year old for example and you're like oh my god it's boring but come on please come on attend the birthday party attend the birthday party 
and you did and you'll be surprised it's not just a four for seven year old there's grown adult that you will meet or you will connect and it's a king of wands look at that so those second voice like your um it's a feeling of um you would initially say no but the voice of your intuition will tease you and say go read it go feel it before you so no before you say no go and feel it because there is a knight of wands and a king of wands like your interest your your vibe will grow interesting like it will grow in you okay the knight of wands to the king of wands you would know it you know those second thoughts like you would have second thoughts and eventually you would go that is where you will realize that there's a king of wands in you like there's a growing excitement libra growing excitement that is what you're gonna get in this boring but there's a growing exciting excitement <laughs> sorry this is what i have for you listen to your intuition it's your compass okay listen to your intuition it is your compass it's telling you to go and see this king of wands it's an exciting person and it's exciting adventure something exciting just go for it okay and this is what i have for you my darling libra Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, you know what to do. Click the bell. Click subscribe. I will see you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.